DNA testing, what is it, why is it important, and do you think you can benefit from it? All of this and more coming at you right now. I've done a YouTube video, so I thought a really good one to kind of kick off the YouTubeness again would be talking about the DNA testing that I recently posted maybe like two weeks ago on Instagram. I first got my DNA testing done through AGS Health and Wellness, which is a genetics testing company in Arizona in the USA. They reached out to me back in April, I believe, April or May, to do the testing, and I did it. I absolutely love the results. I've been, what, it's been like six months. I've been doing a lot of research, working with the company to figure out, basically understand all of the testing so that I know how to present the information to you instead of just saying like, hey, this is my test, this is what I got done, and it's really good, so you should get it done too. Obviously, because you know I like talking about the details and information and all that stuff, so. This is what we are talking about today. Now, I'm going to be reading off of my computer screen that I have all the information saved here, so if you see me constantly like looking down, that is why to make sure, one, I'm on track, and two, I'm giving you the right information, right? Because that is important. So there's seven categories that I want to cover today, and it is the macronutrient wheel, plus breaking down the fats, beverages, vitamins and supplements, behavior, exercise, stress, and then the health, awareness, and effort score. So genetics one-on-one, -on -one, let's kind of just talk about what our genetics are. So they're constructed of individualized sequences made up of four different, I guess, types of pairs. There's the A, which is adenine, G, guanine, C, cytosine, and T, thymine. I could be pronouncing these wrongs, but <laughs> pronouncing these wrong, clearly, but these are what they are. Um, and through these sequences, we can obtain different information that is vital, such as diet, exercise, nutrition, weight management, stress levels. We can figure out a hell of a lot of information through our DNA. And if you like Jurassic Park and you've seen those movies, you would understand that DNA is really important for life. <laughs> Okay, so with this information, obviously we can assess and correct lifestyle habits in order to um, achieve like ideal results or our goals or anything. So the SNPs or SNPs, um, they are the individual pairs of the DNA. So example, AC or GT, something like that. So AGS, the health and wellness company, they analyze the genetics in the form of our SNPs or SNPs and I will be calling them SNPs so that we understand what's going on. So the macronutrient wheel, so I'm not going to be explaining too much information on it, but basically this is the macronutrient wheel and the information that you will get from your testing. So protein is the building block for muscles and for life and like total body. Um, it has the thermic, highest thermic effect for processing in the body and it provides high satiation, like satisfaction, basically, um, compared to other macros, so compared to the carbs and fats. Carbs are your body's main energy source. AGS testing uses two major genes in carbohydrates to evaluate the interaction of genetics and carb consumption. And then AGS uses six genes for fats. So the genet genetic testing with the fats can educate us on weight, cardiac health, metabolism, insulin. And AGS goes into a little bit more details through the MUFAs and PUFAs, which are the monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids. So mono is one bond, poly more than one or two or more bonds. Then we have beverages, we call them the big three, lactose, so dairy, caffeine, and alcohol. And these majorly impact our metabolism, so that's why we focus on those and why they're so important. The big three. So lactose intolerance and why most people are lactose intolerant and how AGS can test and decipher this information through our DNA. Um, lactose intolerance is the body's inability to break down sugar from dairy products, so issues arise in the colon and with bacteria interaction so this will cause bloating discomfort pain it doesn't mean that all dairy has to be avoided depending on what your dna tells us 
but smaller amounts can be ingested um, or lower lactose products such as like aged cheeses if that's what you're into. Getting tested is important just to be certain that we know what level of intolerance, if at all, your lactose is. So caffeine metabolism can impact heart health and slow metabolizers can have increased heart attack risks. So being aware of how caffeine is affected or affects your body is extremely important. And then we have alcohol. We know that alcohol does affect your metabolism, especially when we we're talking about weight loss and it is directly linked to addictive behaviors, which I will talk about very shortly. Then we go into vitamins and supplements. And AGS goes through eight different supplements and vitamins, which is super, super awesome. So vitamins are organic compounds that are essential for life. Most cannot be synthesized for our bodies. So we definitely need those vitamins. Minerals are elements that originate from the earth's soil. They're also vital for life. So our bodies can naturally produce some vitamins like vitamin D with sunlight exposure, but not all of them. So that's why getting tested for these vitamins is extremely important to know how much our bodies are actually getting versus how much we need. Additional nutrients can come from um, foods or supplements as long as our bodies can absorb them properly. So again, getting this information. So we can take vitamins and supplements, but if our body does not absorb them properly, then we're just literally wasting our money and flushing our money down the toilet. The vitamins that AGS tests are vitamin A, which is required to maintain healthy skin, a strong immune system, good vision, and achieve adequate growth. Then we have vitamin B6, which is required for carb and protein metabolism. It supports blood cell synthesis and neurotransmitter, neurotransmitter synthesis, which is basically like our nerves. Then we have vitamin B9, which is also folate. It is required for DNA synthesis and amino acid metabolism and cell growth. Vitamin B12 is required to assist in the metabolism of folate, so which is also necessarily for red, necessary for red blood cells. Vitamin D, obviously we know that vitamin D is the sunshine, and it is required to regulate blood calcium levels and achieve or maintain healthy hormone balance. Vitamin E is required to protect our cells from oxidization and iron which we know iron is very important especially for women it is required for the formation of hemoglobin which is used to carry oxygen around the body and as well to assist in the production of neurotransmitters so our nerves in short then we go into behavior and i think oh okay i know i absolutely agree with ags when they mention that this is the most difficult to define mostly because of habits versus actual genetics. So when we can actually be tested to see what our genetics and what our DNA tells us, then we can know for certain what is actually genetics and what is just habits over our lifetime, right? So behaviors can impact brain chemistry and can have a significant impact on our hormones Women, this is important. Um, and it's important to remember that behaviors are adaptable and can be changed through improving our lifestyle. The testing that AGS does covers food cravings, taste, sweet tooths, emotional eating, and addictive behaviors like I had mentioned about the alcohol. So very, very important. Then AGS also tests our exercise, which I think this was probably the most interesting one for me. It covers two different sections. It covers your power versus endurance, and then it also covers your injury versus health. So power versus endurance, we know that I'm a power lifter, so I, most of my strength or exercise comes from power, but I actually learned, which is kind of off topic from what the information I'm giving you is, but I've learned that my body is actually 80% endurance and 20% power. Now that does not mean that I'm not a good power lifter. I know I'm not a good power lifter. I'm kidding. A lot of exercise is based on what you enjoy doing. So not necessarily what you're best at, but what you enjoy the most. I know I'm not a good power lifter, but I still do it because I enjoy it the most versus the endurance. But it is good information for me to know and how my body will respond with everything. We know that exercise is very important for many different elements in our life. Um, it affects mood, stress management, improves our heart health, improves blood circulation, boosts nu nutrient absorption. I cannot talk today. Um, improves our energy levels, sleep, sex drive, like 
exercise is very important to us. If you haven't understood that I preach about exercise a lot before, this is very important. AGS also tests, like I had mentioned, injury versus health. So the structure and integrity of our tendons and our connective tissues, the production of growth factor, so growth hormone, and our joint health. And this is where collagen supplementation is very important. That's not something I'm getting into today in this video, but I will talk about that later. The new element that AGS has been testing for is our stress response, and this one I think is like super, super cool. It breaks it down over short-term stress and long-term stress. Short-term stress is the reaction to new challenges or problems like taking a test, getting into an argument with a friend or spouse, taking an interview, so short-term something that just happens temporarily and usually doesn't have long-term effects, right? Makes sense. Short-term stress can result in poor concentration or unsuccessful communication. <laughs> it also affects the, let's see if I say this right, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal access, which regulates and impacts digestion, the immune system, mood and emotions, energy levels, and your sex hormones. Short-term stress does have a much bigger impact than any of us probably think it does. Then there's long-term stress, and we can see how our body responds to it which is something that's persistent over time, like financial pressure, occupational stress, something with your job that you don't have just for a day or for an hour or something. This is also linked to anxiety, depression, and ultimately exhaustion. So knowing how our ge genetics and our DNA responds to short and long-term stress, super, super important and beneficial to know. And then the last thing that AGS tests is this snazzy little chart with which is the health awareness and effort score basically this score is how our genetics interact with our environment and our behavior so this can help us set realistic goals and achieve success it reflects our individual's genetic flexibility based on our 20 genetic variants as previously discussed and basically how we can expect to see changes in progress over time if we have a structured plan. So it's not just saying that just because my number is 6.5 doesn't mean that all of a sudden like, cool, I can make these changes and all this stuff is gonna happen. I still have to put in a lot of effort, but this just shows how much change I can expect to see in a short or long period of time. One last thing that I do wanna cover is a lot of people were asking me how this compares to the 23andMe testing. Now, the 23andMe testing is still really good. I'm not saying that it's not there, but there's only one type of testing with the 23andMe, and that is the 23 genes. That is why it is 23andMe. Now, AGS has two tests. It has Nutrifit, which does also test the 23 genes, and then there's the Premium, which tests 51 genes in addition to stress, cholesterol, blood pressure, injury and recovery, behavioral habits, and beverages. Now, if you have already been tested for 23andMe, you can actually, with a consent form through AGS, you can get, you can take your pre-existing 23andMe test and get it transferred over. They can take those genes, break them down, and kind of swap around combinations to figure out what the additional 51 or the total 51 genes gives you so you can find out more information without having to do another test based on your 23andMe testing. So I hope with the help of the construction underneath me and the buzzing noise that you're probably hearing, I hope this does give you a little bit more information. Now I am going to be working with AGS. I will link their information below so that you can check out their website. I will give you a special link through my own, I guess, affiliate program if that's what you are interested in. If you do have more questions, please, please, please ask me because I want to tell you everything that I can before you sign up for this test. Now, this test you only have to take once. It's not something that you need to get tested every six months or something because, like I said, this is your genetics and your DNA and it is what it is. So, yes, it is a little bit pricey, but finding out this information one time and literally never having to get it done again is probably going to save you a lot of time and stress in relation to your goals and your progress and your journey with everything. So thank you for hanging out. I hope that you, I hope that this does answer some questions. And if you have any more questions, um, you can ask me below in the comments. You can send me a personal message. You can email me, courtney.u at live.ca. Go to my website, go to my Instagram, which is probably where you're coming from 
from for this YouTube video. Thank you and have a bomb.com day. Hasta luego, strong friends.